Hi everyone, Katie with Spilling Paint here, and today I'm going to do another one of those creamy, chocolatey pours. I did a bunch of uh, tiles of them last night, and I even, let me find one. I even did some with uh, a mint green in them and uh, love them. They all look great. Anyways, I'm gonna do one today, put it on a big canvas. And if you, sorry I bumped, <laughs> every time I bump this thing. If you follow my Facebook page or my Instagram, I posted something earlier because I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the mint green or not. And I think I'm going to skip it on this one. I think the next one I will use the mint green. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm skipping it though. Um, but I said I was going to do it on a six by, 16 by 20. Uh, I was wrong. I do not have any six by, 16 by 20s. I need to stop talking with my hands. You can't even see me. I'm back here talking with my hands. <laughs> I don't have any 16 by 20s. I do have a 12 by 16. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing it on. I've also added a bunch of different shades. It's a lot of shades going into this, but they're all like shades of brown and uh, there's white and black and uh, a bit of a uh, burgundy maroon shades. So we've got titanium white and this is the order I'm going to be pouring in. <clears throat> this is my own mix. It's kind of a uh, raw sienna. Uh, every time. I need a different setup in here so bad. Uh, this is uh, my own mix. It's a light brown. <clears throat> my uh, This is Sergeant Art Brown. This is a uh, Caramel, my own mix. This is Montmartre Burnt Umber. Then we got, uh, this is one of my own mixes. It's a sort of maroon, burgundy-ish. Uh, I've got a, another of my own mixes. It's a really dark, rich chocolate, and it's metallic. Uh, is the burgundy, is the maroon metallic? can't remember and it doesn't say it is so I assume it's not it is not uh, I kind of wish it was <clears throat> I have a metallic another it's like a reddish brown and finally black um, I'm gonna layer them just one layer of each color in this cup that's the plan at least uh, <laughs> we'll see when I get to layering uh, so I guess let's just get to it Okay, so I got my cup filled. That is a lot of bubbles there. Let's uh, just get rid of those suckers. There we go. Um, I'm actually, before I pour this, I'm gonna mix some, um, some black to pour around. 
uh, just to help with the flow. So I'll be back after that. And we're back. Uh, you're going to have to ignore my, <laughs> my tape on my window. It's holding the plastic sheet. Since my table is so small, it's holding the plastic sheet up so that it catches any paint that drips off. Um, as you can see, I've splattered it a few times. It's fine. It'll come off easily off the glass and everything. And I'm repainting the walls in here soon anyway. But it just keeps it off the carpet. <laughs> it it uh, looks ridiculous, but it's what's working for me now. I am going to, I guess, start. Make sure you can see. Let's go. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Let me turn on my light. Oh, my light is on. Sorry, that's going to be as good as it gets. <laughs> Let's get to it. Look how pretty that cup is. <laughs> and you know what? I think I'm going to get a bunch of these because the paint, once it dries, <clears throat> excuse me, peels out of these so easily. And they're cheap. They're just at Walmart, real cheap little plastic things. Um, I guess I'm going to take you back up top now and we'll get to tilting. All right, we're back up top. So before I tilt, I'm going to pour my very, very, um, you can't really tell very well, <laughs> it's a very liquidy black paint around. And this is just basically to help the rings flow and not roll over each other. Okay, um, I'm going to give it a torch, pop some bubbles real quick. Something landed in there. Okay. Let's tilt. Sorry about my toddler in the background. He is upset because I'm making him nap. I'm going to go around first just to grow the rings without distorting them too much. Now I'm going to hit the corners a little bit.
I'm just messing with the composition. I really, I think I might actually just center it. Let's sit it down and look at it real quick first. Wipe my hands. So, I wished I would have used a little bit more of the lighter colors to get that, uh, that creamy center. However, I still got some creaminess. Um, I really like this maroon and burgundy up through here very nice there's there's some creaminess through here there's that's I think that's something in the paint hold up where did I just put that thing there it is I can't tell if that's a cell or nope that's a cell <laughs> it tricked me anyways I think I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna torch it there it goes It's, uh, it's not as creamy as the tiles. So I will definitely try it again and go back to my original way of layering it when I do it again on a bigger canvas. Um, I am currently out of, I've, I've got a 10 by 20 and I am not good at traveling ring boards. <laughs> so I'm not gonna try that. Um, I might do multiple ring pours on the 10 by 20 with the same palette. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I guess that's it for this one. I'll take you in for a closer look and uh, I'll catch you all later. Be sure to like and subscribe and welcome and thank you for subscribing to all my new subscribers. I've gotten a ton in the past day and it's so exciting getting that notification. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you all later. Bye. So I totally meant to do this before the pour. But I am uh, an incredibly forgetful person. For instance, I went to my kitchen earlier today to get a chair. And walked right past it. Uh, put my laundry in the dryer. Put Went to my room, grabbed more laundry, put it in the washer, started it. Went back into the living room and was like, wait, why did I go in the kitchen to begin with? <laughs> Then finally remembered I needed the chair. <laughs> so, here's uh, the caramel that's in this. And you can see, I hope you can see, like it takes a second for it to fall in there. And what I do is I make a ribbon in the paint and I want it to stay for about five seconds. Five to six seconds. If it's more than that, I add a little bit more uh, water or pouring medium usually. Um, if it's less than that, I need more paint. I'm sorry if you can hear my toddler in the background. He is in desperate need of a nap, but won't go take one for the last three hours. I wanted to film this hours ago, but I finally gave up trying to wait them out. <laughs> but anyways, that's that's the thickness. It is very thick. Very, very thick. And that's how I keep my rings so defined and everything. But uh, that's it. Thanks.